So I just returned from a trip to Canada and wanted to share some of the highlights with you. Usually I plan my trips down to the very last detail, but this trip I really didn't have the chance to, it was kind of last minute. But I still got to enjoy it and see a lot of sights. I had a few days in Ottawa, the capital of Canada, and also Toronto. Let's start with Ottawa. I flew Porter Airlines to Toronto, then Ottawa. If you want to see a review of the airlines and my experience with them, click below. It's best to rent a car while in Ottawa. It's just so much easier to get around with a car. There are plenty of buses, but we found it easier with the car. Once you get to downtown Ottawa and park, you can walk to see most sites. This is the Parliament Hill and buildings. There are free guided tours daily. This is the five monument statues in the same area. Behind it are the restrooms. There are lots of museums and sculptures like this giant spider. This is the beautiful Rideau Canal. You can walk down steps to a nice area with benches. People come here and have their lunch. It's a very relaxing spot to take a break. Hogsback Falls is lovely. There is free parking and the falls are just a few steps from the parking lot. There are hiking trails and a lot of different areas to see the falls from. You can buy ice cream and drinks there. There are many benches by the snack area and it wasn't very crowded when we visited. The annual Dragon Boat Festival was going on so we couldn't park in that lot. We had to park at the Canada Post lot about a 10 minute walk away. The Dragon Boat Festival is held at Mooney's Bay Park. It was okay, a bit confusing. Honestly, we didn't know when the race started and who won. But there was a free concert as well as many vendors. You can even take a swim as there is a beach. A kids playground and picnic area make it fun for families. Bikers are everywhere, so be careful when you drive. Rib Fest was going on for a few days in downtown Ottawa and it was crowded. Good ribs and sweet corn. The Notre Dame Cathedral Basilica is absolutely stunning inside. I sat inside for a while and felt a wonderful energy, a very peaceful feeling. On to the Byward Market, which is a must visit. Obama cookies and so many delicious pastries. The fruit tart was just okay, but you have to try this Palais Royale, which is chocolate heaven. The fresh strawberries at the market grown locally were delicious. These were picked the morning we bought them. While you're traveling, the easiest healthy thing to eat is fruit. And it's a great idea to try whatever fruit is in season and local because it will taste the best. Elgin Street has some good eats. This is a hearty breakfast at the Elgin Diner with sweet baked beans, potatoes, sausage, eggs, and lots of toast that I couldn't even touch because I was so full. El Camino restaurant, which is right next door, is amazing. I had the best tacos I've ever eaten. Seating is tight and the music is loud at night. If you love burgers, Try the Works Gourmet Burger Chain. We went to the one in Westboro. Water is served in Pyrex measuring cups. The Tower of Onion Rings were pretty perfect. Everyone enjoyed their burgers. Unfortunately, I had to order the Elk Burger since I figured it would be one of my few chances to get it. Don't do it. It was chewy, gnarly, and awful. Stick to the standard burgers and you should be fine. Canadians love their bacon. It's everywhere and on everything. However, I did see a lot of restaurants catering to vegans and health conscious eaters. So there are plenty of options for everyone. Gatineau State Park is only a short drive from Ottawa. It's perfect for nature lovers. Gorgeous views everywhere. We also did a cruise around the Thousand Islands, which is an hour and a half to two hour drive from Ottawa. It's scenic and you'll see many homes of the rich and famous. It was really lovely to be on the water. We had great Mexican food at Taqueria La Bonita. A little out of the way, but if you have a car, you can get there. I always manage to find these offbeat places. The food was delicious and worth the drive. We also had awesome Indian food at Cochin Kitchen in Ottawa. Their buffet was so good. Authentic South Indian food. The last day in Ottawa, we went to this park with trails and paths. You can walk right down to the water and there's also a beach. It was a very relaxing place. There are plenty of things to see and do in Ottawa. It's not very crowded and I found that most of the sites were within walking distance. The people are friendly and everyone spoke English. If you go to Gatineau, many people speak English but more speak French, especially in the smaller stores, even at the McDonald's. I wish I had a picture of the McDonald's food to show you, but I don't. The food is so much better and fresher tasting than the McDonald's in the US. They even had really good pastries for a fast food place. 
it must be the French influence. If you're just traveling for a couple of days, you need a good carry-on. Something small that'll fit in the overhead compartment so you don't have to get charged extra for it. One of my friends bought a small carry-on that fits a lot and I will be doing a review of that on my Best Kitchen Review channel, so stay tuned for that. On to Toronto. I would recommend renting a car here as well. We landed at Billy Bishop Airport, which is on the Toronto Islands. There's an airport tunnel or you can take a free ferry to downtown Toronto. Behind me is the CN Tower. You can go up in the glass elevator and get gorgeous views. If you're adventurous, take a walk outside around the circumference of the roof. It's called the Edge Walk. Walk to the harbor front. You can sit and people watch for hours. There were people from every part of the world that come here. It's very diverse. St. Lawrence Market has tons of eateries, fresh produce, meat, and seafood. The pea meal bacon sandwich is very popular here. It wasn't bad. Definitely go to Churrasco at the market and get these Portuguese custard tarts. They are just out of this world delicious. There's seating inside and plenty of benches outside the market. Union Station is where you can get the GO Transit train to many locations. You can even take it to Niagara Falls. The train seemed modern and clean with plenty of seating on many levels. We drove to Niagara Falls since it's only an hour and a half from downtown Toronto. If you're driving, avoid the toll route, otherwise your rental car company will charge you an outrageous amount to go through the tolls. It only took us a few minutes more to get to the falls, avoiding the tolls. When you get to the falls, Google will take you to the middle of town, Regional Road, Stanley Avenue. We just kept driving and parked in the lot across from the Best Western. The lot is right before Tim Hortons. Walk to the light by Tim Hortons and make a left there on Murray Street. Walk straight to the falls. It's about 10 minutes. You'll see an insane amount of people at the falls. There was also a Sikh celebration going on the day we visited, so there were even more people. The falls are, of course, beautiful. As you look down, you'll see boats going to the falls. Since I was on the Canadian side, I took the Hornblower cruise to the falls. If you're on the New York side, you could take the Mate of the Mist. Wait online and get tickets, but it will take a long time. As I was waiting online, I realized you could buy the tickets online. So do that and walk straight to the boarding area. You'll be given a poncho and enter the boat. It was an extremely fun experience. You'll get soaked as you get close to the falls. There was a lot of happy screaming and laughter on the boat. I would definitely recommend it. You'll really feel like a kid. Toronto is great for a quick visit and we enjoyed our time there. I hope you got some good tips and some idea of what to expect on your trip to Canada. After I come back from a trip, I look forward to eating healthy because when you're traveling, you don't always get to do that. So I'll definitely be posting some healthy recipes soon. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.